The same basic concept has been in place since man first set sail. If you spring a leak, you put something in it, on it, or over it to slow the flooding, giving you time to bail and make it back to shore. While larger ships, there is a little more to it, but the same basic concepts apply. Stop or slow the leak as fast as possible, giving you ample time to dewater and make it back to port. If a hull breach allows more water in than your bilge pumps and dewatering efforts can keep up with, then you may very well lose the ship. If you can reduce the flooding by 80% or more with a few damage control applications, you have a much better chance of staying afloat and making it back to port. For smaller holes, you should have an ample supply of wood plugs and wedges to pound into the opening. Soft wood will swell and will conform to the openings for a tighter fit. The more area of the opening you can block with wood or other means, the less water will continue to enter your vessel. For slightly larger breaches, a splinter box patch can be deployed over the damaged area. Box patches should have a closed cell rubber gasket to help form a seal controlling a good amount of the flooding. Any areas of the box patch plan not making good contact to form a seal can be assisted with wood wedges or other material to help slow the leak. Splinter box patches will then need to be held in place with wood shoring or more modern Paratec damage control shoring. While there are many ways a ship's hull may be breached, all pose the same threat. Rapid flooding with the threat of progressive flooding to neighboring compartments. The longer it takes for your crew to contain and stabilize the damage, the more water enters your vessel. The more water equals more weight, and this uncontrolled weight swaying with the ship's movement can quickly impact the vessel's stability. With a hull breach, controlling and limiting the ingress of spreading floodwaters is your crew's primary objective to stay afloat. Your crew members are tasked with performing damage control to save your vessel. Upgrading to the most modern equipment will give you the best chance for a favorable outcome. In the event your best efforts to contain the flooding fail, or it is immediately deemed that the compartment is lost, the area may need to be sealed off. The bulkhead, watertight door, or hatch should be reinforced with shoring to provide additional support. Keep in mind the vessel's structure may have become weakened or otherwise damaged by the initial hull breach. A flooding compartment may hold thousands of pounds of water with floating debris swaying uncontrolled by the movement of the ship. A door, hatch, or bulkhead failing to hold may cause flooding of neighboring compartments and has the potential to quickly spiral out of control. Having enough damage control equipment available is essential to handle multiple events. Consider this. An impact breaches the hull of your ship in compartment B. A crew member immediately grabs one of your several quick response damage control go bags strategically stored about your ship and rushes to the event. The crew member takes immediate action to slow the leak to a minimal amount. Other crew members arrive with other tools and equipment and improve the containment, perhaps covering the area with a splinter box patch and shoring it in place. Another scenario. Your crew has responded to a hull breach and has deployed a bunch of equipment and effort into compartment B, but to no avail. The decision to fall back and abandon the compartment is made. You will not have time to gather your shoring and other equipment and gracefully exit the compartment. Compartment B is sealed off with its watertight doors and shoring supports need to be put in place. At minimum, you will need to have enough shoring equipment left to erect two K-type or H-type shoring solutions to reinforce the doors of neighboring compartments A and C. Keep in mind you've left behind some of your shoring and tools in the abandoned compartment previously discussed. When planning your damage control equipment cache, consider this scenario and assure you have enough equipment to adequately respond. Ideally, you could have pre-staged shoring equipment mounted to the wall next to each watertight door under the waterline of your vessel.